orientation away. You have to reorient your expectations. Clean right hand by Jones. And in addition to his speed, his creativity. His ability to come out and do something different. Goes beyond six rounds. Jab his chest, making it get his feet together. That hurts. The back away, let the left hand just stick out anyway. And you saw something there. Telesco fired his jab, dropped it as he brought it back. Fighting a good puncher like Roy Jones, you gotta be a rubber man. That right hand drove Telesco's head back. And Jones misses with another. Ending with that blindingly fast right hand lead. Power on those punches. Tedesco is dealing with the power. Jones firing his right hand to the body and again. So an average of 27 jabs around and landing only four. You might wonder, how can a fighter do that? You see how short Telesco's jab is most of the time here. Jones landing a combination as he drives Telesco into the corner. Hasn't done badly out of that southpaw stance. And dances for the crowd. To the best of my knowledge, it's against the rules. I, I, but McKenzie never stood for it. But I believe the referee has every right to tell him not to, not to call George. Well, I've had them talking to me, and I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Jones tattooing Telesco through much of this round. Superior hand speed. Saying to Telesco, come on and fight. You're so tough. Telesco lands a raising left hand. He's got to get in and fight him. Fight him. He said, come fight. So We've seen Jones vulnerable on the ropes in the past. He went to the ropes against Otis Grant and didn't look good. Now, now, Telesco, you keep attacking. You're going to get him. Conceivable. He's done the same thing through the first four and a half rounds here. Choppy. And he comes back upstairs to nail Telesco with a right hand there. And a left-right combination. Nah, 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 you can't hit me. I'm gonna get you out of here. You're making too much noise. Later in the round, he shows I can hit you. Win this thing. There's a hard left hook to the body by Telesco. And another hard left to the body and a right. Best flurry of the fight for Telesco. That's what the goal to distance. Totally content to go the distance. In fact, he believes Jones punches to the body. They land. They get through. They land in the square area. Roy Jones is it right there. Hit him right in the ribs, not on the elbows. No bad habits whatsoever. Roy has never landed so many clean body shots against an opponent as he has against Telesco. Telesco has taken a, a real drubbing. Turn the shot over. Get your knockout. Jones backs into a corner again and gives Telesco a chance to land. And two body shots and a straight right upstairs. And comes back pounding to the ribcage. Best rally so far for Telesco, or one of them. Look for some oxygen. Well, uh, Welch. Hole in the head and uppercut. Let's go. Of early in the bout, throwing few punches, missing when he does. And being pot shotted from the outside by Roy Jones. I still don't like those slingshot punches he throws. Now Roy backs into the corner again. It's the same quarter. And let's go with a couple of left hooks to the body. Crowd. Gets into it as David begins to show his stuff. You can't back up, though. you got to stay there. Oh, what a vicious left hook to the body by Jones. Once again, Roy Jones to the side. Oh, that hurts me, George. It hurts. You know, Alton Marker is trained can't run. And so, although the punches are hard, stinging punches, they're not the kind of punches so far that have shown any serious damage on Telesco. Late rounds are the ones Telesco wins. Great body punch. Body punch. Huge body shot by Jones. That's the one that hurt him. Backs into a corner again. Let's see if Telesco accepts the invitation. Nope. Good body shot. A left hook to the body. Another left hook to the body. And a left hook. Roy Jones seems not to 
truly believe in his power. Doesn't want to finish a guy off. If he does it with one shot, good. Telesco going forward. Jones landing as he vacates the space. The throw body punches. And Roy Jones, 31st birthday. I wonder whether they're going to drop the ball on Times Square for the next 60 seconds. On the 12th. Well, and I think Jones has been trying to knock him out. That's not always been the case in the past. A dialogue with fists and mouths. Jones can finish him off if he wants to. Two more right hands, he'll make it out of the 12 rounds. There's one, there's two, there's three, there's four. Roy well, Jones, I didn't know he had two. And still, the undisputed great heavyweight champion of the world, Roy Jones. Junior!